Devin. My name's Leo. I play the drums. Ryan, I play guitar. I'm Brandon. I play guitars for Worm Shepherd. My name's Aaron Shaparian. I'm producing the new Worm Shepherd. And right now, we're tracking vocals for our debut record. It's going great so far, and uh, hopefully you all like it. I am blown away by Devin's vocals. As of tracking this album, I've been doing vocals for five years. I'm 19 now. Devin, every time I, I hear his voice, it blows me away. Uh, from being so young to having such a powerful voice to being so quiet and then just flips a switch and he's an absolute monster. It's, it's fun. I feel like most vocalists have like three ranges. They got the low, medium, high. Devin's literally got like 15 different voices that he does. Sounding fucking killer. I've never worked with a person like Devin so far. Devin is insane. I started working with Devin, I think a year ago. He needed a songwriter for two singles. It was just him on vocals, me doing all the production. Um, he recorded them up by him in mass and then sent me the files and the songs are called Frozen Lake and Ragnarok. Vocal tracking for this record has been a breeze. I had never really gone into a studio before. Vocally on this record, I definitely feel that I've evolved since Devon to Embers and the Frozen Lake. I think that got Devon to a good start. Band started with uh, Devon and Brandon, um, you know, wanting to, to start a project. Devon brought in Leo. The way I found out about Devon was the Frozen Lake. And uh, me and Devon have gone back and forth, talking to each other and starting a relationship. and. Um, he asked me if I wanted to join his project, and we just hit it off. There's a lot more ranges in here. There's a lot less of me doing one tone for a extended period of time. I'm trying to merge as many styles as I possibly can so that I'm looked at as the most versatile vocalist that I could possibly be, as opposed to being a one trick pony. Devin does this weird sort of low that sounds like kind of vibrato y. And it's really, really guttural. It's just like, like some shit like that. This record is going to be very heavy, melodic, a lot of orchestra elements. A lot of people listening are definitely going to relate to the vibe. I think they take a lot from a lot of different elements of metal, not just like deathcore or black metal or ambient stuff or like super heavy stuff. I think it combines a lot of different styles. I'm really excited about this release. This release to me is, this is my first really serious metal album that I've ever written drums for. When I hear Leo play, um, I wonder what I've done the last 20 years of my life. The kid's 17 or however old he is and outplays most drummers that you hear on a lot of albums today. It's, it's I can't even fathom. He does the shit that he does. This album, in general, really pushed my musicality, like, because I wanted to bring something fresh to the table in terms of black metal, but I also wanted to keep my style of just crazy fast. So it kind of pushed me to new ground levels on how to play different types of blast beats and where they fit into songs and how to really make the guitar shine rather than the drums shine. We all work well together. Um, we all have recording software. We go back and forth with ideas. With the, the caliber of musicians we have, and I really hope people take away 
um, you know, all the hard work that was put into it from the writing to the recording. Lyrical content on the record is a collection of different detailed suicides. Everybody that goes through life deals with suicide in one way or another. Um, they'll attempt, they'll have family members attempt, they'll act upon it. There's so many different reasons why so many different people would do so. So I'm just trying to collect that all into one big, sad, angry explosion. It's exciting getting the songs back and hearing the final product is absolutely amazing. I want people to feel through the music that we're here to stay and that we will be back from this album very soon and we aren't slowing down. I want people to look at these lyrics and find some sort of relation to them. Look at them and not feel that they're crazy themselves or that they're by themselves or they're the only people in the world dealing with any of these different reasons for suicide as I've mentioned before. <laughs> Devin and all of Worm Shepherd for giving me the opportunity to produce the music. I've been in a million bands and uh, I found Aaron Shaparian and changed my world of writing, uh, opened my eyes to new genres and writing styles. For this particular record, definitely want to thank Aaron Shaparian for all the work he's done on the record, all the extra miles he's taken that he doesn't have to, but because he cares so much about what we're putting out and what he works on, this will be a full-fledged masterpiece. Aaron's the man. That that dude, uh, he's going to be the next big thing if he's not already. Like his, his The mind that he has into you know, the production, the mixing, the writing, it's, it's amazing. I'm gonna say this now, like he's he's one of my favorite audio engineers. It's just a smooth process and with Aaron knowing what he's doing, producing and tracking the record, it's just like this and everything just clicks immediately and I can't wait for you to hear what we have for you. <laughs>